Hey guys, this is Malinki. Welcome back to my channel, Voice of Malinki. Today we will talk about anticoagulants. And if you are new in my channel, please subscribe my channel. And if you like my video, please do like, comment, and share my video. So anticoagulant is a substance which prevents blood from clotting or prolongs the clotting time. Let's talk about types of anticoagulant. These are mainly of two types, synthetic anticoagulant and natural anticoagulant. Synthetic anticoagulant, these are synthesized chemically in the laboratory. Examples of synthetic anticoagulant, warfarin, acinocumerol and fenprocumin. Let's talk about them one by one. Warfarin, these are most widely used oral anticoagulant medicine. These are synthesized by adding benzyl acetone to 4 hydroxy coumarin in the presence of pyrimidine. Uses They prevent stroke, they treat pulmonary embolism and deep vein thrombosis. Their mode of action They prevent vitamin K and it suppresses the synthesis of clotting factors 2, 7, 9 and 10. Side effects bleeding and tissue damage. Next is acinocumerol. They are structurally analogous to warfarin. p nitrobenzyl acetone is used in chemical synthesis instead of benzyl acetone. Mode of action, uses, side effects are same as warfarin. Next is fenprocumin. These are 4 hydroxycumarin which are substituted at position 3 by 1 phenyl propyl. They are structural derivatives of cumarin. They are long lasting oral anticoagulant drugs. Similar mechanism of action to warfarin. Let's talk about natural anticoagulants which are purified from natural sources. Examples of natural anticoagulant heparin, herudine, antithrombin, urokinase, streptokinase, snake venom, etc. Let's talk about them one by one. Heparin is a mucopolysaccharide. Its molecular weight is 12 to 15 kilodalton. It is produced by basophils and mast cells. More of action, it binds to antithrombin 3, which is actually a thrombin inhibitor. Once it binds to antithrombin 3, antithrombin 3 gets activated and thrombin is inactivated. Uses, it prevents deep vein thrombosis and pulmonary emboli. Herodine is the peptide. It is present in the salivary gland of leeches. Mode of action, it inhibits thrombin. Next is antithrombin. It is a peptide which has 432 amino acids. It is produced by liver. Mode of action, it inactivates thrombin, factor 11, factor 9, factor 10 and factor 12. Uses, it treats patients with antithrombin disorders and it prevents clots before or during surgery. Urokinase. It is a peptide which has 411 amino acids. It is first isolated from human urine. Mode of action, it digests the fibrin clots. Uses, it treats severe deep vein thrombosis, pulmonary embolism and myocardial infarction. Next is streptokinase. It is an enzyme. It is produced by streptococci. It is inexpensive. Mode of action, it digests fibrin clots. Uses, it treats myocardial infarction and pulmonary embolism. Side effects, hemorrhage, necrosis, osteoporosis. Next is snake venom, which is a protein. Mode of action, it affects platelet aggregation process. So this is all about today's lecture. I hope you liked the lecture. Thank you for watching my video.